everyone. <laughs> if you're new, hi, my name is Sue, and if you're returning, welcome back. So this video is a three-part series that I'm doing with HelloFresh. Uh, thanks to my friend's brother, I was able to get three recipes for two people for a week. So that's approximately six meals for only a dollar. <laughs> so on this topic of my friend giving this meal to me for free, I can actually do the same to you. If you guys are interested in a week of HelloFresh, all you have to do is go to hellofresh.com, choose a plan, and then put in my code at the checkout. It's, it's that, and you can get a week free just like I did. And so I hope this helps, and I hope that if you do do it, that you enjoy it, and I hope this video helps you. <laughs> and I think this is amazing because I, I've always wanted to try out HelloFresh, but I didn't want to spend $60 just to try something out. So I'm grateful that my friend was able to give me a link that uses his code so that I can try out HelloFresh. And so this process was pretty easy. I just clicked on the link that he sent over on his email and I was able to choose three different meals that I wanted to do for a week and literally I did that on Wednesday and the package arrived Monday and so this is part two of the HelloFresh three-part series in this video we made Swedish meatloaf with mashed potatoes and carrots and I was like the main chef just because uh, my sister was doing homework and my mom wanted me to cook on my own because I don't normally cook at home But yeah, this was a nice twist. Um, I really enjoyed cooking. It just took a long, long, long time But yeah, uh, you can go check it out now Okay. So today we are making Swedish meatloaves We're gonna get the Swedish meatloaf bag out. Oh, it's heavy. Plus, this. Alright, so in this bag, we have a bunch of stuff actually. We have wheat flour, white bread, <laughs> parsley. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Red concurrent jam. Oh, an itty bitty carrot. One onion. Another carrot. Oh, another one. A potato. Meatloaf mix, more carrots, oh, 2% milk, another potato, two more potatoes, oh, no wonder it's so heavy, a piece of a carrot, more potatoes, <laughs> another piece of a carrot, Another piece. <laughs> mm, ground nutmeg. And last but not least, beef. Alright, let's get cooking. So the first thing we do is wash and dry all the produce. So I'm gonna I just washed them and I'm gonna dry them soon. But before that, it says adjust rack to upper position and preheat oven to 4 to 5 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to come here and I'm going to preheat to 4 to 5. I'm going to let that preheat. And while that does that, so I don't know if you can see me in this frame, but I'm going to do exactly what this says. So I'm going to peel the carrot with the peeler. I'm actually really bad at this. Alright, so after we peel the carrots, we cut it diagonally into one third inch thick coins. Okay. 
All right, they're a bit thicker than I want, but but that would have to do. All right, next we're gonna cut the potatoes into one inch cubes. All right, so potato is done. And now half and peel the onion and then mince until I have one fourth cup. All right, and then half. And then peel. And then mince until I have one fourth cup. So that would be so about this size. All right. So one half onion is one half cup. I have too much onion, clearly, but it does say we could use the rest if we want to, so I'll leave that on the side. And then it says, finely chop parsley. It doesn't say how much, so I guess a little bit. Oh my gosh, the onion is getting to me. All right, so that's done. Um, it says, toss carrots onto baking sheet with a drizzle of oil and a large pinch of salt and pepper. So unfortunately, I don't have um, a baking sheet, but I just toss it onto my baking pan. So carrots. Drizzle of oil. With some salt and pepper. Best duo out there. Alright, and I'm gonna just mix it up around a bit just because. I want it to be evenly. So, there are my carrots. And I'm going to place this here. Alright. And she said to do this for 15 minutes. So it's 8.14 right now. So at 8.30, I'll do that. I'll take it out. And then, next, it says, place potatoes in a medium pot with a large pinch of salt and enough water to cover by one inch and then cook that for 15 minutes. And then drain and return the empty pot. All right, I have my pot and I have my potatoes. And I'm gonna put potatoes in with a pinch of salt. So I'm gonna go one, two. And then I gotta put one inch of water. All right. And then I'm going to bring it to a boil. And I'm going to let that sit for 15 minutes. All right. Next, we're going to shape the meatloaf. We're going to place the white bread. Three tablespoons of milk. And then break 
we're gonna break the bread with our hands until pasty. Oh. I think that's pasty enough. <laughs> Alright, and then after that, we're thoroughly mixing in the beef. Beef. Then two tablespoons of onion. Then half the parsley. One fourth the nutmeg. We're going to be getting one fourth teaspoon. That. All right. Next, one half. We're going to do one half of the meatloaf mix. shape this mixture into one inch tall loaves. Oh no, I made a mistake. I was supposed to put this beef in, not the beef concentrate. No, this is, oh, what a waste. That's done. And then it says shape into two one inch loaves. Two. Now, I think this is good enough. So, put that there. So there are my two one inch thick loaves. I'm gonna come over to this pan over here. I'm gonna add some oil on medium heat. I'm gonna swizzle that around. And then it says add the meatloaf. So I'm gonna just pick these up with my hands and then I'll place them right there. Yummy. Okay, and so that like that. And it says cook until browned on surface but not yet cooked thorough. About three minutes per side. And then after the carrots have roasted about 15 minutes, remove sheet from oven and give carrots a toss. And then add meatloaf to the same sheet and place into oven. Then bake until cook through and carrots are tender so about 15 minutes more all right so I'm gonna do this for three minutes each side all right flip those around coming out pretty nicely all right and we're gonna wait three more minutes so that's been three minutes each for the potatoes I've added one fourth cup of milk the butter one tablespoon of butter Salt and pepper on low heat, and I'm gonna let this melt, and then I'm gonna smash it to make mashed potatoes. So I'll leave that over here. And I'm gonna transfer the meatloaf to the carrots, and then place that in the oven.
All right, so that's what it looks like, and we're gonna put it back. And for about 15 minutes. And while everything's going on, uh, it says melt the one teaspoon butter. So I have that right here. Back into that plate. So I'm gonna melt that around. Melt, 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 melt. basically all melted. Once we do that, it says add the remaining onions. We'll do. Um, cook and tossing until soft. So about for two minutes. And then it says add the flour. It says add flour. Flour, and then stir until pasty. Okay, I guess that's what they meant by pasty. We're gonna add, it says then add one half cup water. Followed by the stock concentrate, which I mistakenly used because I thought, oh, for some reason that they were talking about um, the beef before when they were talking about beef. I thought they were talking about the beef concentrate, so we're gonna have to go without that. Um, and add one fourth cup of milk. And we're gonna just let that simmer. I'm gonna just let that, and then we're gonna let that simmer. And we're gonna whisk until thickened. It says season with salt, pepper, and nutmeg. So I'm about to just do exactly that. The pepper. A pinch of nutmeg. I'm gonna keep whisking it away. Definitely not too thick. Yeah, so that's it for this gravy. I don't think it's gonna ever become thick. Oh well. Alright, this is all we're gonna do for that, and then, yeah. Alright, so I, I couldn't find the best way to mash mashed potatoes so I kind of just found this thing and I just been squishing the potatoes. This is the last thing I have to do. So hopefully they don't mind crunchy potatoes. <laughs> right? And I just plated it and just add some parsley for decorations. Alright. There's concurrent jam here if we wanted to use it. And then there's my messed up gravy. Mm. Hopefully they enjoy though. Mm. So from this to this. I think this is a better job than the other one. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Better than yesterday's tacos? Aman, up there? Masista? <laughs> yeah. Although I messed up on the beef stock, it's alright. I think I like this more. Better quantity. 
better quality. I recommend this one. But yes, uh, that's it for the Swedish meatloaf with carrots and mashed potatoes. Um, I wish there was clear instructions on like particular things like the beef stock and the beef because uh, I didn't know that because the packaging just said beef on it. Um, the mashed potatoes are definitely a lot harder than um, imagine just because I didn't have the right tools to do so and I had to like look around the kitchen just to find something to mash it with. But yeah, uh, overall I really liked it. Um, very hearty meal for two on like the tacos and everything was good, not too salty, um, not too bland. And yeah, uh, this could definitely fit, like feed three people uh, for dinner rather than just two. Um, or it could just really fill two people up. But yeah, now I'm about to go do dishes. But yeah, until the third recipe, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> but yes, okay, so um, like I just said, I really liked the Swedish meatloaves. It was very good and tasty. Uh, quantity was definitely better for this. I would definitely pay $10 per plate for this. Um, I just wish that the instructions were a little bit more clear. Uh, for me personally, 15 minutes for the potatoes was not enough. Actually, 30 minutes were, was not enough to soften the potatoes, so the mashed potatoes weren't that mashed. And I also didn't have a masher to mash the potatoes with, so that was kind of hard. But overall, I do recommend this meal to those who want to try it Hello HelloFresh. Uh, it was really awesome, and it's definitely worth like the price. Uh, it definitely took a lot longer than I expected. Um, it took me almost an hour to cook but I'm glad that uh, my sister and my mom enjoyed it or at least didn't hate it and yeah uh, that's pretty much it for this video if you like what you see make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you have any questions or comments feel free to put that in the comment section below otherwise make sure you subscribe and share with all your food loving friends and I'll see you guys next time <laughs> bye